Hello everyone, welcome once again to my channel. Now, in this section, um, we are basically going to talk about uh, the TSM polygon and the isolator. But then before that, we are just going to take you through how to find the area, especially on the graph. So now, let's take it for instance. We have a catchy diagram. Um, a catchy diagram in this way. And then, let's take... For instance, our area um, A here, we had area A here to be somewhere here. So if this is area A, this area A is area A. So from the question, you will be given some skill. So let's take for instance, the question says one box, that is one centimeter box, um, is equal to let's say 10 centimeter squared in this case so now what we do is that after you've gone through you know uh, drawing the joining the line with other stations and then drawing a perpendicular bisector and then um, trying to find the area of a particular station let's say station a now you have to get the area now in getting the area if one box here is equal to 10 centimeter squared then which means that when this represents the area over here what you are going to do is to count the number of um, perfect square boxes. So, uh, for perfect square boxes, if you have a perfect square, a perfect square box is equal to 10 centimeter square. But then, if the line that we are having is crossing more than half of the box, so we have more than half of the box, then that one to recount it. But if it is less than half of the box, um, it's less than that, then what we have to do is to ignore it in this case. So if this diagram here is um, the area for A, what we are going to do is to count the number of complete boxes here. So um, so let's take it this way. If we have a complete box, we number it one. And then if we have half of the box, then we just represent it by another 10. So now let's start from here. Now if you look at this section over here, um, it is less than half of the box. So what we are going to do is to ignore it. And then if you look at this part too, it is um, less than half of the box. We ignore that one. And then for this part, it is more than half. So we count that one as one. So it is more than half. Let's uh, represent that by, okay, let's say one. And then this is also um, just a full box. So let's count that one as zero. And then this is more than, more than half. So for more than half, we count it as one. For um, a full uh, square, a, for a full square, we count it as zero. So this is also full zero. This one here is also full. That is zero. Um, this place is also full zero. This is um, less than half of it. So we ignore that one. And then for this part also, it is just half of it because it's basically passing through. Uh, the midpoint here so we count that one as one because it's um, more than half and then for this part it is also more than half so that one is also one uh, less than half we ignore at we, we ignore it then we have a full square here we count that one as zero full square zero um, more than half we count that one as one and then for this part it is uh, less than the half then we ignore it so basically, um, for the number of full boxes we have, remember we represent the full boxes by zero, more than half by one. So we count that one, then multiply it by um, the scale that we are given. So for zero, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So basically it's six multiplied by the 10 centimeters squared. And then it's going to give us 60 centimeters squared for, uh, for the perfect square. So we have perfect square. So it is squared. So um, for more than half, we have one, two, three, four, five. So for that one, we, uh, we have five here. And then we have five multiplied by the 10 centimeter square. And that is going to give us 50 centimeter square. And then for less than half, we ignore that one. So we have 60 centimeter square and 50 centimeter square. So the total area here. Uh, for let's say if you are one year it's going to be 60 centimeter square plus 50 centimeter 
square and that one we are just going to have one ten centimeter square and that will be for area a and then we can move on to area b you just do the same thing here then c and then that of d so we do for each one of them so thank you very much for joining me in this session now in the next section we are just going to start with the introduction of this uh, tism polygon and then continue with isolator so i'll see you in the next video